Hi kids! Today we will learn about transformations. That is, translation and scaling. So let's start. First of all, we will learn what is transformation. Transformation is any process which changes the position, shape, or viewing angle of any shape. There are different types of transformation depending upon the kind of change it's doing to the 2D shape. Let's learn more on it with the help of examples. Let's first learn first type of transformation, that is, translation. Transformation, where we move objects from one place to other place along a straight path is called translation. We move the sign from position A to position B. So we say we translated this sign from position A to position B. So the task of translation is to move an object or shape from one position to the other without changing its shape and angle. Here we move this figure from one point to the other. Only the position of shape or 2D figure is changed. Let's see another example. Here we have a capital letter F. We have to translate this shape, two squares up and four squares right. Remember, translation is always moving the object along a straight line like sliding. First mark the point where you want to move your shape to. Then make an arrow to that point. Now move your shape along the arrow you just made. Yes. We have now translated the figure two squares up and four squares right. Now let's learn another type of transformation, that is scaling. Transformation, where we change the size of a 2D figure, is called scaling. Like we may double the size of a 2D figure, or may make it smaller, this is known as scaling. Zooming in and zooming out are examples of scaling the objects. Example, here we increase the size of this figure, so we have done scaling operation on this figure. Also remember, if we increase or decrease each dimension of the figure equally, the object changes its size only, not shape. This is called even scaling. This is an example of even scaling, as we have increased the size of this figure, but not its shape. These are some more examples of even scaling. Here, each dimension of the figure is evenly scaled, that is, increased equally. Here, this figure is made smaller, but the shape is not changed, so this is even scaling. Here, the star is made bigger, but the shape is not changed, that is, each dimension is changed equally. This is an example of even scaling. If we differently change the different dimensions of a figure, then the object is distorted. That is, the shape of the object is changed, and such scaling is uneven scaling. This is an example of uneven scaling, as here we change the shape of figure along with the size. That is not the same amount of change is made along each dimension of the figure. Here are some more examples of figures with uneven scaling, that is, along with the size, shape is also changed. Remember, in uneven scaling, each dimension of the figure is not equally scaled or changed, so the figures are distorted as a result of uneven scaling. 
So kids, today we learned two types of transformations on 2D figures. Translation, which is the same as sliding an object along a straight line. And scaling, where in even scaling, same as zooming in or zooming out, and uneven scaling, where along with the size, shape of object 2 is changed. Now go ahead and take a quiz to practice more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.